Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Magento AliExpress Dropship Automation and in today's video tutorial we'll be showing you how to install the AliExpress Chrome extension within your Chrome browser and after that we'll be showing you how to import the products from the AliExpress into your Magento store. So let's get ahead and let's see how uh, we can install the AliExpress Chrome extension in the first place. So for, for that uh, we need to first uh, uh, go to the admin backend settings of this extension. So we'll be logging in to the admin backend panel. After logging into the admin panel, you need to go to system configuration and you'll be clicking up the warehouse management under the web cool menu option on the left hand side. Here we have three options and uh, the first one is the general settings. Uh, for this dropship extension uh, the other one is the warehouse transaction emails it's also for the uh, uh, for the dropship extension and the third one is the aliexpress settings now you just need to click that up and uh, you'll see a number of uh, options are here uh, that need to be configured so uh, first of all uh, the very first option that we see is installing the aliexpress chrome extension so what you will be doing is you'll just have to click on the install button and you will be redirected to the uh, chrome web store and here you need to just directly click on the add to chrome button and uh, after that you will hit this uh, pop up uh, that says to add the magento aliexpress importer just click that up and uh, you'll see that uh, the extension has been installed and uh, you can see a pop up on the right hand corner side of your screen so uh, we have now uh, configured and we uh, like we have uh, installed the aliexpress chrome extension so uh, what we need to do is we need to go to the aliexpress uh, uh, website and let's see if uh, this uh, aliexpress importer is visible on the various uh, uh, places there so let's go to the aliexpress.com first so here i am at the aliexpress but before we proceed further and uh, start exporting the product what we need to do is we need to uh, uh, what we say as uh, we need to uh, uh, we need to uh, what we say as we need to uh, verify our shop url uh, uh, so as to register our store so that whenever we are using the aliexpress importer uh, whenever we click on the import button these uh, products are imported within our uh, uh, verified shop url so uh, for that we'll just uh, first of all go to the backend settings and we'll see what else uh, settings are there uh, for uh, the uh, aliexpress section so uh, we have installed uh, the aliexpress extension now uh, we have the username and token uh, these uh, fields would be used uh, for uh, verifying our store URL so uh, that uh, we are able to uh, import our products from the AliExpress into our Magento web store and the admin can enter any username uh, that he can uh, remember he can clear this up or uh, the one that's the de default one and he can uh, uh, make use of any other as per his requirement uh, so uh, after this we have the quantity uh, option and uh, you need to enter the default quantity that uh, will would be applicable uh, to the imported products from aliexpress so uh, you just need to set this quantity for them after that we have the default cost so you need to enter the default cost uh, that would be applicable uh, to the imported products from aliexpress so when the products would be assigned to a warehouse and similarly uh, the default quantity that you set here uh, set here uh, would be used while assigning the products to the warehouse after that we have the generate token uh, option so you can click on the generate token and create uh, any number of uh, tokens as per your requirement then you need to sl select the def uh, default attribute set id uh, that would be uh, used uh, uh, or would be assigned to the aliexpress products by default then you have the text class you need to select the text class from uh, the ones that you have so that they would be assigned to the aliexpress products by default you can also set the default weight uh, for the products whenever you are uh, uh, like uh, uh, 
importing the products or you are assigning the uh, sorry you are assigning the products to the warehouse at that time this default uh, weight would be used similarly you can set the product as active or uh, inactive and you can assign uh, the uh, website id uh, uh, or you can select the website uh, uh, which will be assigned to the aliexpress products by default so this was uh, the uh, settings for the aliexpress settings so uh, now we'll be uh, verifying our uh, uh, shop url first uh, and after that uh, we will be able to import our products from aliexpress into our magento store so for that i'll be going ahead and i'll be going to the aliexpress website once again uh, here I am on the uh, AliExpress uh, website. You will be able to uh, import the products from the search page as well as from the category pages. So uh, what we'll do is we'll go to any of the categories first uh, of all. All right. Uh, now on the uh, on this category page here we can see uh, the AliExpress uh, importer is visible. Now uh, before importing the products, we'll verify our shop URL. So I'll just be clicking up uh, this uh, importer icon and this would ask me for my store url so uh, yeah, your store url would be like this one uh, like the example.com with an https and the folder name uh, for our extension so what i'll be doing i'll be just going back and copying and i'll paste that uh, uh, shop url of mine for my magento store and I'll paste that up so it would be like this and I'll press the next button after that now I need to enter my username and the token so I'll be going back to my configuration settings for the Aliexpress and I'll copy my username and password and paste that up And I'll click the submit button after that all right you can see uh, the authentication is successful and now we would be able to uh, import the products from Aliexpress into our Magento store for that I'll just click here uh, on the importer icon and you can see uh, the store has been authenticated the product details have been fetched up and uh, uh, I'll show you the rest uh, here you can see the name, the price of the product, the meta title. Uh, here all the information regarding the product, uh, like if it's a configurable product or a simple product with uh, many options, you'll be able to uh, see all of those being imported into your Magento store. So I'll just click the submit button and uh, let the product get imported into my Magento store. And after that, I'll show you uh, the product within my store. All right. Uh, now in the backend, I'll be able. I'm able to see the imported product, and I can also click on the edit product, edit option to check the various options that have been imported along with this product. And uh, after enabling this product, uh, on the front end also, I'll be able to see this imported product right now, as you can see. And I can click on the product to check the uh, details for the product. That way you'll be able to see what uh, has been imported. So here you can see the images, the sub images, the description, uh, all of the description from the AliExpress has been imported uh, and is visible on your Magento store along with the different options for this product. Uh, the color, the size and the rest of the options have also been imported. So uh, it was all about uh, how to uh, install the aliexpress chrome extension within uh, your chrome browser and after that i showed you how uh, uh, you can uh, verify your url shop url and after that import the products from the aliexpress into your uh, magento web store and uh, thanks for watching this video and uh, have a great day ahead